Let's try that again. How much did you have to drink tonight? I had nothing to drink. Okay, so why are your eyes red? Everyone should be responsible for their actions, especially when drinking is involved. You haven't had anything to drink? None. So why am I picking up on clues of intoxication? Turn around. You please sign the vest tonight for DWI, okay? But what happens when belligerent people decide to operate a vehicle after consuming alcohol? Did you drink anything tonight? No. Drugs? No. Nothing, you sure? Not, not From someone failing to maintain a lane to someone driving on the opposite side, here are some incidents where law enforcement had to apprehend these individuals. Please, officer. Put your legs in the vehicle. I can't be placed I under arrest. That, uh... Our first incident revolves around Diana Noriega, who aspired to be a police officer. On June 11th, 2023, at approximately 1.33 a.m. in Hoboken, Officer Rutkowski noticed a vehicle that was failing to maintain its lane, disregarding a traffic control device, and failing to stop for a stop sign. Officer Rutkowski and Lombardo immediately initiated a motor vehicle stop. I'm smelling alcohol coming from you. Okay. I don't know if that's you or him, but it smells like it's coming from you. How many did you have to drink tonight? Uh, well, today it was my brother's birthday. We had like a cup of sangria. Where at? Do you know? That's a bar or like someone's house? No, my house. We had a party. Oh, you live? You don't live? I guess this is your parents' address or mailing address? Oh, in Orange? Yes. Okay, what are you doing in Hoboken? We came to see the view. We came here to see the view. Oh, what time did you last drink at? Um, we came like around. Probably like 30 minutes ago. Well, listen, I'm going to ask you to perform several tests for me, okay? So I just want to make sure you're okay to drive home due to the fact that I'm smelling alcohol come from your bed. Do you, have, do you wear gla uh, glasses or contacts or anything? I wear glasses. Do you have them on you? No, I don't. I have contacts on. You have contacts in there? Okay. Just, uh... You can lean against the vehicle. When Officer Rutkowski came in contact with the driver, Miss Diana Noriega, the officer found something suspicious about her and decided to investigate further. We'll call the defendant. Okay, I need you to follow the eyes only, keep your head straight, understand? Light brown hair, got some light brown hair on it. And then possibly, uh, right, listen, you need to keep your head straight. Shirts. Follow the pen with your eyes on. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Let me do that. Keep uh, your head straight. Back. Okay? You understand what I'm Do you have any issues with your feet, ankles, legs? You can walk fine, right? Okay. Uh, step on the sidewalk for me. Just walk towards uh, me a little bit. Stand right here. Okay. See this line going down the middle of the, the sidewalk? Yes. Okay. Again, no problem, no pain in your legs. You can walk fine, no. right? What I'm going to ask you to do is... One second. I don't want to it's just a better copy of information for a uh, investigation purpose. Okay. So you can see this line going down the sidewalk, right? Yeah, sir. So what you can do is you can take your left foot, right? You can place it on that line. You can do it now. Uh, stay like that. You can take your right foot and place right. it in front. Yes. You can take your other foot, which is your right foot, and place it just like I'm doing in front of your left foot, tilting your toe. Just like that. Okay. Now stay like that. Now say, say like that until I tell you to move, you understand? Okay. Keeping your hands down, you're going to take nine steps forward, counting out loud. One, two, three, all the way nine. nine. Once you get to nine, you're going to turn around. You're going to take another back. nine steps in the other direction, you understand? Okay. Counting out loud. One, two, three, touching heel to toe, and counting out loud, keep your hands down. 
Okay. You understand? Alright. Alright, begin. Get it. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come back? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come back? No. No? No. Just like, I have to do it twice. Also. Okay, I'm sorry. Now one one last test, okay man? Okay. Stand straight. Yes. Keep your hands down. Okay. You're gonna pick one foot, either foot, it doesn't matter which one. You're gonna raise it, don't do it yet. You're gonna raise it about six inches above the ground, like I'm doing. See how, how I'm doing six inches above the sidewalk? Okay. And you keep your hands down, not and count loud, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. You understand that? Until I say stop. Okay. So keep going until I say stop. Okay. Again, don't do it yet. Keep your hands down on your side. Raise your foot about six inches above the ground. And count out loud. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, until I say stop. Okay. All right, begin. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, Eighteen one thousand. Okay, you'll keep going. Eighteen, nineteen, one thousand, twenty, nineteen, one thousand, twenty, nineteen, one thousand, twenty-one thousand, twenty-one, twenty-one, one thousand, twenty-two, one thousand. You stop, man. You stop. The roads are filled with dangerous drivers. As a result, the cops have devised various methods to identify these drivers. We are about to see one such method being applied by the cop. All right, listen, ma'am. Right now, you're placed under arrest for driving while intoxicated, okay? What? For driving while intoxicated, you're going to be placed under arrest. Do you why? Why? Because you're intoxicated, you failed my test, and do the way you're driving. But how did I fail your test? Officer, please, I can't. You're, you're pretty intoxicated right now, man. I swear, officer, I can't be placed under arrest because my family are yeah. away. Right, so I'm going to see. Please. Yeah, yeah. Officer, please. No, I can't. Ma'am. Please. please. I'm trying to be a police officer in Orange, New Jersey. Okay. So, especially with the way you were driving. You please, I can just park my car right there. You cannot. Doesn't officer, matter. can I take your test? Please. You already took the test. Please don't make, don't make this more difficult, okay? I can't. Just let, also, just let you know that things are not My camping. parents aren't home or nothing. They're not where they, where they at? They're in Peru. Well, how old are you? I'm 23. Okay, so what do you need your parents for? How am I gonna go? You'll be able to get out. Officer, please don't do this. I swear I'm trying to be an officer in Orange, New Jersey. Please, I can't get this record. Please. Please, I can't get arrested. No. Please don't do this to me, officer. We have I know, but please, no. officer, I can take the test. Please don't arrest me. Officer, please, 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 officer, don't do this. I have no one to take out the car, please. Officer, please don't arrest me. Please. Officer, please. I can take the test. Officer, who's going to take out my car? The woman claimed she had aspirations. However, her actions say otherwise. If she really wanted to be what she wanted to be, then she should have known that her actions would severely hamper her future. What's up, John? Officer, please, why are you arresting What'd me? What did you say? Yeah, absolutely. Officer. Okay. Um, did, we, did uh, Frank say we have a 2-5 on the radio? Yeah, 4 50. Oh, okay, I bet. Officer, please. Yeah, why can you step inside the vehicle, me? please? No, but please, why are you arresting Can I park my car on here? Speaking officer available, there's a language barrier. Officer, please, I can't go under arrest. I never did it. I'm trying to believe a police officer. Well, tonight you're being placed on the rest, okay? 
Can I take the test? No, come on. Please, officer. I can't be placed under arrest. Officer, please. Please, please, please. I understand, but please. Don't do this. Come on. I can't be a police officer with this record. Get inside the vehicle. I beg you. Yeah. Don't do this. I can't do this. I swear. Well, we have to get it done tonight, okay? You're being placed on the list like I told you. DWI. But why? I'm not going to keep explaining it to you. Can I take the test? Go on. Please, I can't. Put your feet in the car. I'm trying to be a police officer with this record. I can't. Put your feet in the car. Please, can I take the test? After her arrest, officers conducted a search of her vehicle and discovered something that explained why she failed the tests. Upon completion of the processing, it was revealed exactly how impaired she really was. The suspect was charged with driving while intoxicated, failure to observe a traffic control device, failure to stop at a stop sign, reckless driving, and having an open container in a motor vehicle. While Diana probably destroyed any probability of becoming a cop by being caught driving under the influence, our next individual was probably fine with her arrest as she had no such aspirations to begin with. She doesn't have her, she only has a passport on her, no registration for the car on her. The incident is centered around a 22-year-old Nicole Giraldo. On December 3rd, 2022 in Hoboken, Officers Cynthia Rivera and Andreas Bonilla were conducting patrol when they observed a Honda Civic heading south. The vehicle was traveling in the opposite direction on a designated one-way street. The officers immediately conducted a traffic stop. What's going on tonight? I'm sorry, I was trying to go to home. Trying to go home? Yeah. Where's home? Yeah. You know I pulled you over, right? I'm sorry, because I didn't know that the leg was really slow. We didn't pull you over because of that. We pulled you over because that's a one-way. You came down a one-way, and this is a one-way. And then you drove around all of these cars. I'm sorry, because I, I recently moved over here. That's why. Do you have your license, registration, insurance on you? I'm sorry, do that again? Just to let you guys know, I'm You want to talk to her real quick? Yeah. She sounds a little slurred. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, You have a registration? I don't have a license because I was going to pick it up right now because I wanted to go to the car right now. You have a license? My license, I, I, that's what I was going to pick up right now, that's why. Where are you picking up your license? In Birch. Your license is in Birch? Yeah, because I had left it there like last night, that's why. Where are you coming from right now? From my house, and then I can speak my friends because they had left my, my license at Birch. That's why I'm like, I'm like really going and like crazy for it because like I have to pay $11 for it. To renew my license is lost. But right uh, now it's like the fact that I'm, I'm like they're gonna drop me off home and they're gonna take an Uber home. All right, just give me one minute, all right? Okay. Nicole appeared perplexed when questioned by the officer. She thought she could easily deceive the cop. However, little did she know the cops are trained to pick even the smallest of discrepancies. It's like slurred speech. Is it, is it? right now? It's. <clears throat> At first, she says she's going. She's going to Union City. She's just from the area. Then she's saying she's coming from you. She doesn't have her. She only has a passport on her. No registration for the car on her. All right, ma'am. I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle, okay? Okay. Okay. We're gonna. We're going to go right across. Yeah, let me go on. All right, we're going to go right over here. Uh, across the street. 104? 104. Uh, on the sidewalk, please. What's your name? Nicole Geraldo. What? Nicole Geraldo. Okay. Nicole? Where are you from? Union City. Union City? What are you doing in Hoboken? 
throughout? I came to speak with my cousins because of the fact that they had my license, but they lost my license. So did you drink anything tonight? No. Drugs? No. Nothing, you sure? Nothing. How did you end up on a one way? Because I was literally in the rush to pick my license because I was so scared to like get caught in her book and it's Saturday. Basically right now. Where did you pick them up at? In freaking Birch. At Birch? Yeah. Okay. You can be against them. I'm sorry. I'm right. sorry. Well, listen, I'm gonna... It's my first time, so I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to perform a few tests on you, okay? Okay. You have any issues with, with your eyes or anything like that? No. All right, turn this way. Face me. Okay. Face me. I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a probably so crying because I'm scared. I don't know. It's my first time. Okay. No, no contacts, glasses, nothing no. like that that you wear? No. Okay, follow this plan with your eyes. Okay. Your eyes only. Keep your head straight. Do you understand okay. that? Okay. One more time. Keep your head straight and follow the plan with your eyes only. Okay. You understand? You understand that? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna give you one a third time. Okay. Follow the plan with your eyes only. I'm sorry, keep, I'm so scared. It's okay. My first time. You have you have to keep your head straight. I'm sorry, okay. You can have to go, correct? Yes. Just relax and keep your head straight. Do not move your head. Do you have any issues walking or standing? No. No pain in your ankles, your legs, nothing like that. Well, the only thing is. Okay, would that would that prevent you from walking in a straight line or anything? Literally. It does. Yeah, because I have to learn how to walk again, how to like do everything basically. I can't even squat normally, nothing. Okay, but what, can you walk normal? Yeah, I could, I could, I could, I could literally try. Okay, let me, let me see just say you walk normal. Like walk normal for me. A straight line? Yeah, just walk, you don't have to do anything crazy, just walk. Line, just no, walk. No. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you walk fine. Nicole, all right. Look like you're walking fine to me. Okay, stand still. I'm sorry. What, do you see this line? Yeah. What you can do is, is you can put your left foot on that line. Do that now. No. All right. Just put your left foot, Just put my left foot on the line. Don't move. Now take your right foot and place it in front of your left foot. Okay. Now stay like that until I tell you to move. Do you understand? You're going to keep your hands down your side. You're going to take nine steps forward, counting out loud. Nine? Nine? One, two, don't move yet. Three, just as I'm doing, but so nine, nine steps. Okay. Don't move yet until I tell you to move. Once you get to nine, Right. You're gonna turn around and do nine more. And do another nine, touching heel to toe, counting out loud. One, two, three, all the way to nine. Once okay. you get to nine, you stop. Okay. Keep your hands down on your side. Do you understand that? Okay, good. What's that? Your, your left foot? Yeah, because I, I, I could, uh, usually from whatever, from what I see, I could do like eight to nine. How's your right foot? Your right foot? Your right foot? Okay. I'll, I'll you could stand on. Alright, so what you're going to do is, is you're going to, whatever leg you feel comfortable on, you're going to stand on that leg. You're going to raise the other leg about six inches. Okay, you're going to keep your hands out on your side. You're going to count out loud one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Just don't saw yet. Don't saw yet. 
That's what's happening. Sorry, I'm sorry. Count. I'll tell you again. Give me one second. You're going to count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000 until I tell you to stop. Okay. Okay? You're going to pick any leg. Raise one leg about six inches and keep your hands out at your side. You understand that? All right, get begin. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's the leg you feel comfortable on? Want to restart? I don't feel comfortable. Even before um, my chemotherapy and surgery, I right. always feel comfortable with this leg. That's so the that's the leg you want to use. Can I use this leg? You can use that leg. It's fine. You need to keep your hands down on your side. I never, I never tried with this leg. Okay, you need to keep your hands down and you're gonna count out loud. Okay. Okay. Begin. Okay, man. Sorry. Keep, keep your hands down. I don't want you to fall. Give me ten to five. All right. Just put your hands behind your back. Let me turn around. You place on the vest tonight for DWI, okay? The officer suspected something was off. Paired with her previous suspicious behavior, he decided to employ something that was designed specifically to detect problematic individuals. Is it the keys of the car you're currently driving? What car are you going? I'll go with you though. Me? Yeah, because we're already facing. Field sobriety tests may appear difficult to someone sober, but they are a nightmare for drunk drivers. It requires hand, eye, and leg coordination to pull off properly. Let's see what the officer thought of Nicole's efforts. Six four six six one. What car are you using? One seventeen. Two nine seven. Six four six six seven. Six four six six one point six. All right, myself and Officer Rakowski are going to be transporting this to five to headquarters in one seventeen. Starting mileage is going to be. Please leave that thing. Starting mileage is six four six six one point six. What's your question? If I'm sorry, if the car what? Okay. Okay, but you're asking about somebody picking up the car? Well, when we get to headquarters, if you have somebody who um, who could pick up the car, as long as they have a valid license and um, and they're sober. Do you have anybody with a valid license who's sober who would... Yeah, but is he sober? Because the... Which one? The one in the passenger? Because he was definitely not sober. Yeah. Does she have a cell phone? No. No, no person. No. By ID. Maybe Where's your um? Oh, she didn't. You didn't have your driver's license or anything, right? You said you left it at Birch. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Yeah, that, that was one of the main things that we were saying. She didn't have any handcuffs. Do you, is, do you have your phone? Is that in the car, or do you leave that at home? You left it at home too. Do you think your phone's in the car or did you leave that home?
There you go. 17, I'll add 0.3 to add my horse for 20 years to Want us to roll an ambulance or something for you to check you out? No. Okay, so you don't want um, an ambulance or anything, correct? Okay. You can stand up. Just put this in. Huh? Alright, actually, come here. Um, you know what? Just sit on the sit on the bench. We're probably going to have to take it to a different uh, department real quick because our uh, upload test machine is not working. So. Nicole was immediately taken to where she belonged. Later proceedings revealed a shocking truth that outlined the need for officers with conviction who can see right through the deceit of others. Nicole Geraldo was charged with DUI, reckless driving, and driving the wrong way on a one-way street. According to court records, on March 29th, 2023, Nicole was found guilty of operating under the influence and fined a total of $680. Her license was revoked for 12 months and she was required to complete 12 hours at an intoxicated driver resource center. The other two citations were dismissed as part of the plea agreement. While Nicole decided to drive on the wrong side of the road and get arrested, our next individual took it up a notch when he decided to not only overspeed, but also tailgate. I was kissing my girlfriend that smells like booze. I, I, I don't know. So you're just at a bar not drinking? Correct. This incident revolves around a man who claimed that he had consumed fat burner pills. In 2023, Officer Savage from New Mexico observed a vehicle involved in speeding and tailgating. The officer pulled over the vehicle and initiated a traffic stop. Buddy, we're at the uh, rear billiards. We're playing pool. Okay. So I can already smell the odor of alcohol. Uh, I'm going to have you grab your ID. I'm going to have you step out so I can run you through some field sobriety tests, okay, man? Do you have any weapons on you or in the vehicle? Anything I need to know about? I do not, sir. Okay. And then I'll have you take that knife out of your pocket. You just place it on the seat, okay? I'm gonna walk you right back here, okay, man? <clears throat> so how much did you drink tonight? Uh, I didn't have anything to drink. 
Okay, let's try that again. How much did you have to drink tonight? I had nothing to drink. Okay, so why are your eyes red? I, I have no explanation for that. I'm not a... Okay, any reason that you smell like alcohol? No. Okay, so you haven't had anything to drink tonight? No, sir. Not even one beer? No. Okay. The man, showing utmost confidence, started making claims that were too good to be true. Officer Savage could already detect the red flags the man was raising. He decided that he needed to make sure this was simply a case of interacting with someone socially awkward, rather than something much worse. Focus on my finger, okay? I'm on it. I need you to focus on my finger, okay? I can see you looking off over here. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm on that. Like a laser. Hi, man. How much have you drink tonight? What's that? How much did you have to drink tonight? No. No? I asked how many? Nothing. You haven't had anything to drink? None. So why am I picking up on clues of intoxication? You're, I, I don't think you are. Okay. So you just smell like booze, I'm seeing clues of intoxication, and you haven't had anything to drink tonight? I don't think you are picking on clues of intoxication. You were you're testing for a while. Yeah, I'm asking because I'm trying to be cool with you. So, are you going to be honest or no? No, no. Okay, I'm going to have you stand right over here. Stand on this light for me. Face me. <clears throat> Do you have anything that would prevent you from doing a standard walk or turn tonight? What does that mean? Do you have a broken ankle? Yeah, I have, I have a hardware in this ankle right here. Okay, but does it prevent you from operating a motor vehicle? No. Okay. Um, I saw you exit the vehicle just fine. You walked over here just fine. Any other complaints of injuries or anything? No. Nothing at all? Okay, sir. So what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you get into a starting position, okay? For this test, what I want you to imagine is about a four inch wide line. That line is going to extend from your left foot and that line is going to go all the way straight down this road, okay? Can you imagine that line? Yeah. Can we just use this or? I'd rather not. We don't want a visual. Well, it's raised. So I don't want you to be tripping on a raised object. We don't want a visual line. We want me to imagine the line. Well, it's a raised line. So see how there's a lip to it? I don't want you to be stepping off the lip. Okay. Okay. I want you to be on a flat surface. Okay. Can you imagine that line? Yeah. All right, sir. I want you to put that left foot on that line. Okay. Go ahead and do that for me now. Wait, wait, so you're saying line from... Uh, oh, just a straight line. Straight line that's gonna go from your left foot and it's gonna go all the way down this road. Okay, can we pick an end point or... It's just gonna be an yeah, just in endless line, okay. okay? So I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna have you put the left foot on that line. Yes. Go ahead and put your right foot in a heel to toe manner in front of that left foot. And I want you to keep your arms by your side, okay? Now this is the starting position for the test. I don't want you to move from this position until I tell you to do otherwise. Do you understand? Perfect, sir. What I'm gonna have you do is a nine heel to toe step along the, uh, the imaginary line that I had you picture inside your head, okay? That test is gonna look just like this. You're gonna focus on the tip of your toe and you're gonna count as you're walking down that line. It's gonna look just like this. One, two, three but on your ninth step you're going to plant your lead foot with the foot behind you you're going to do a series of small turns like this continuing down that line nine heel to toe steps sir one two three just as i instructed now for the sake of this test you're going to do nine heel to toe steps i only did three for demonstration purposes do you understand the test sir uh not not completely you're saying i do so I'm going straight for a series of steps. Correct. And then I'm making a 90 degree turn. Which direction? Do you want me to demonstrate for you again? Uh, yes, please. Take a couple steps back. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring you back to that starting position. Go back to that line, sir. Yeah. Put your left foot on the line. 
Now put that right foot in a heel to toe manner just in front of it, keeping your arms by your side. Test is going to look just like this, sir. One, two, three. But on your ninth step, you're going to plant your lead foot with the foot behind you. You're going to do a series of small turns, keeping this lead foot planted, continuing down the line. One, two, three. I think I got you all the okay. way back till I get to this starting point. Correct. I don't want you to stop once you start this test. Do you understand, sir? Okay. And I'm starting with the left foot, correct? What was that? I'm starting with the left foot, correct? So just as I instructed, you, you'll put that left foot on the line, right foot in front. You'll start your nine heel to toe steps whenever you're ready. Just as I instructed, sir. Perfect. I'm going to bring you back to that first position that I had you in. Right on my light facing me, okay? Sir. Sure. For this next test, you're going to pick a leg. It's going to be your left or right, okay? It's up to you. I'm going to go left. That one's not injured. Okay. What you're going to do is whichever foot you choose, you're going to pick it up off the ground, keeping your arms by your side at all times. You're going to focus on the tip of your toe, and you're going to count in 1,000s until I tell you to stop, okay? Okay. Like I said, arms by your side, focusing on the tip of your toe, you'll count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 until I tell you to stop. Got it. Do you understand the test, sir? Yes, sir. Go ahead and start. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,003, Go ahead and stop. I'm going to have you sit on this bumper for me, okay? Yep. What's the highest level of education you've had, sir? I have a bachelor's degree in business administration. Okay. So it's safe to say you know how to count, correct? Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to ask you to do, I want you to start at a specific number, and I want you to count backwards ending at another specific number. You're going to start at 47. You're going to end at 32. Okay. 47, 46, 45, 44. 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, a fat burner. What's a fat burner? Uh, it's a uh, it's a pill I bought off Amazon. It's like a I take it before bed. Okay. It's just fat burner. I don't okay. Know, it's probably herbal. And when's the last time you took that? Uh, I took it probably an hour ago. An hour ago? Does it affect your ability to drive a vehicle? Does it have a warning label on it? Anything like that? Not that I know of. I, I, I just bring it in my truck. The, the package is in my house. Okay. All right, man. So just be honest. How much did you drink tonight? No. You didn't have one drink tonight. Why do you smell like booze? Uh, I was around people that smell like booze. I was kissing my girlfriend that smells like booze. Uh, I, I don't know. So you're just at a bar not drinking? Correct. Okay. Officer Savage decided to play it safe and to remove all the suspicions that were forming inside him. He asked the man to go through a few hoops to see if he was as innocent as he claimed to be. So you're going to be under arrest for driving under the influence tonight, okay? Your eyes are telling me a different story than what you are, okay? I'm picking up on clues of intoxication. That took two tries to get. <clears throat> By agreeing to step in this vehicle, am I am I agreeing to the allegations? Not at all. Just go ahead and have a seat, though. You don't have to agree to anything. 
Oh, wait, I just I just agreed to getting arrested without agreeing to the allegations. Okay, so you don't have to agree with the allegations, but from the results of what I've just run you through, the field sobriety test, I don't think you're able or safe to drive that vehicle. That's why you're under arrest right now, okay, man? So I'm gonna have you have a seat for me. Okay. Okay. You said the phone's in the Close middle down. console? Yeah, uh, so listen to me, I'm about to tell you something important. You're under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or a physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost for this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? No. <clears throat> I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you're convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? Do you now agree to be tested? Yeah, I agree not to be tested. Once the officer, beyond the shadow of the doubt, was convinced that there was more to the man than meets the eye, he decided to proceed further. Later, rather than cooperating, the man made things worse for himself. The suspect was charged with aggravated driving under the influence. While the man decided to needlessly put others on the road in danger, our next individual put her own life on the line when she was involved in an accident. I was like pushing the button until dawn, I was coming home, and then I hit it. This incident revolves around a 24-year-old woman named Lauren Burklow. On December 15th, 2022, the officers responded to an incident involving a vehicle colliding with another. The initial responder confirmed that Lauren was the sole driver. Brooke, wanna get an ambulance going? My, my mom is coming. Head injury. Right, just talk to her. Stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here, stay, here, stay with him. I'm gonna check your car out. Chronic, you're also going to need to contact JCP now. They're going to need to come out here for this. 10 4. I know her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing new thing about that. I don't think so. No. I, I, was right, I was right on top of her. Yeah. Sorry. You're fine. My car is What's your name? Lauren. Lauren. Berkla. Okay. That's my car. No one else is in the car. Okay. What happened? Sorry, I'm on phone with my mom. It's okay. I'm so I I looked down to like check to Do you know if there's I just got Did you sorry. pass out at all? Do you know? No, 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 okay. no. I was I was on the Bring phone it. with my my boyfriend mm -hmm. and I just got my car like literally it's like it's okay. two weeks ago. So what what's hurting right now on you? Did you hit your head on the steering wheel? I think on so. The airbag? Okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm just in shock. I was like doing like the device to like text my boyfriend like like on the phone. I have done it and I was looking at I was looking at my um navigation device. Tell him I was like on my way home. Lord, where are you coming from? I'm coming from my own. I'm arriving now anyway. What is that? I was like, I was like pushing the button until dawn. I was coming home, and then I hit. It. All right, Steve, can you hang out with her? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. You got anything? 
Huh? You got anything? Need to do what we need to do. She hit a pole. I don't, I don't care who she is. Are we thinking impairment, or are we? Should we? Like, I mean, I, I mean, is there is there an admission of alcohol use? I haven't even got there with yet. I was worried that this pole was going to fall over. So, I, all right. Well, well so she hit her on the steering wheel, so she's a little bit out of it. Why, why don't we talk to her just um, before? You know, if, if, if this time convenes, if she doesn't go to if she goes to the hospital, we can you know do finger dexterity, mm -hmm. alphabet, whatever. Um, just to see if you can work on the route. If not work on the route, then we don't go to that route. Cool. But let's just figure it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what happened? So our paramedics. Our, our ambulance is going to check you out. Yeah. So what happened? I was driving and I was like in a navigation. And then, and then I was like trying to make a call. And the airbag just like went off. And that fast. Do you know about how fast you were going? No. Uh, do you think you were speeding at all? Yeah. 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 What do you think you're hitting on? Do you know is it the... Yeah. Well, what does it matter? No. Well, she called military. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Yeah. I don't think I passed out. No, I don't think I passed out. Well, she's not talking to her. Yeah. I'll run through. I don't know. I feel like I'm like in shock right now. So you don't know anything personal? Mm hmm. An officer soon came in contact with Lauren. Due to his concern for her well-being, he wanted to arrange a medical checkup. Instead of acting normally, she did something that caught the officer off guard. Picture <laughs> Okay. All right, so listen. I'm ready to keep dry side. And right through. They're called pre-exit tests. Okay. You do them right here. They're called pre-exit tests. Okay. For any suspicion under anybody who may possibly be impaired, I run through every time I pull somebody over this or if they're involved in that accident, okay? So what's your highest level of education? College, high school? Oh, college. College? Okay. All right. So, so you don't have any problem with the English alphabet or counting numbers? Right. Starting with the letter B and ending with the letter K. Can you recite the alphabet without saying it? So B to K. Just don't say it, okay? You understand? So B to K. Got it? Like C, D, E, F, G, A, K, L, M, N, O, P, E, F. Okay. So for the next one, it's going to be start with number 52, okay? 5 2. And count backwards and stop on the number 36. Okay? 52. Count backwards to number uh, and stop on number 36. Okay? 52 to 36. Got it? Yep. Two, so 52, 51, count backwards. 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 55, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, do you have any problems with your hands? Any injuries besides that? It's not gonna. It's a finger test. Okay. No. no. Okay. So you're gonna be able to do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So whatever hand you're more comfortable with, I'm gonna demonstrate it, and then I want you to do it. Okay. So just watch my hand. I want you to touching each fingertip to the thumb. I want you to count one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. That's one rotation. I want you to do it three times. Okay. Do you mm -hmm. understand? So remember. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One rotation. I want you to do it three times, okay? Do okay. you understand? Yeah. Okay, got it. One, two, three. Like that? Mm hmm. Here you come. One more. Again. Okay, that's good. Come on, Daniel, man. We're having Mars with that. Okay. 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 Okay.
sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure you use also. Follow Officer Cole over here, okay? We're going to cross the street. Of course. Yep, yep. Okay. I'll play your card. Yep. So, Officer Cole, we're going to call HDN test. He's going to he's going to check your eyes, okay? okay. So just stand right behind the police car for me. I know it's I know it's raining. Good. But, Steve, hit the, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can they lights, please? I'll tell Can you guys uh, hit the lights? We can do our eyes, that's all. Thank you. Good, Ben. Well, can you stay right here for me? Yeah. Yep. Show me, turn, show me my face. All right. This is what we're going to do. I need you to stand with your feet together and your arms down at your side. Arms down at your side. Just stay there, okay? You need to keep your head still. And I'm going to move my finger back and forth like this. You're going to follow my finger with just your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Are you wearing contacts? Yeah. Okay, you got contacts in and you don't have the glass eye? No. Okay. I just have to ask. It is contacts. So what I'm going to do is just, I want you to look at the tip of my finger at all times. Okay, keep okay. your arms on your side. And just follow Sorry. your eye, just follow with your eyes. Okay. okay. Keep your head still. Don't move that head. I know it's hard. Keep following. Sorry, I'm cold. Oh, you're good. I got you. Keep that head still. All right, last thing I'm going to do, we're going to do the same thing. I need you to follow with your eyes only. I'm going to just go up and down, okay? Just keep your feet together for me, huh? Wait. Yep. Okay. Ready? All right. Go ahead, Brian. Let's go in front there. She got all seven. What? She got all seven. Yeah. No. Lauren, come here for me, okay? I'm putting in front. Okay. Alright, Lauren, you can follow me, okay? Right in front of this police car for me, okay? Alright, so I want you to stand right in front of the police car like this. Okay. 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 Just, you know, run for the police car. Yep. Right, right here. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be a walking test. Would you prefer? I understand it's raining out. Would you prefer to not do it in those shoes, or are those shoes okay? Okay. Okay. All right. While I explain the test, I want you to put your right foot in front of your left foot, heel to toe, and keep your hands down on your side. Okay. So can you do that for me? Right foot in front of your left foot. Yep. Just like that. Just heel to toe like me. So if you, that's okay. It's okay. I just really don't want to. It's okay. If you look at me, it's right foot in front of your left foot. Okay. Hands on your side, okay? And don't start to test until I, t until I explain oh. the rest of the test, okay? No, no, that stance I want you to oh, stay in. Though. Sorry. It's okay. Just stay, stay, stay in that position for me, and I'm going to explain the rest of the test. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. All right. All right. Starting with your right foot. Okay. I want you to take nine heel to toe steps forward, like this. One, two, three, all the way up to nine. When you get to nine, I want you to turn and pivot around your front foot, taking short choppy steps like this. I want you to turn around. Yeah. I want you to take nine more heel to toe steps back. Right. Okay. Like this. One, two, three, all the way up to nine. Right. Okay. While you're doing the test, I want you to look down at your feet. Yes. Count it out like I did. Okay. And uh, don't stop the test until it's complete. Okay. And make sure you keep your arms down at your side. Okay. Okay? Do you have any got questions? It. Do you understand? Yeah. No, I got it. You got it? No. Okay. All right. You may begin. Sorry. I'm shaking. It's okay. Cold. Do you want you want your jacket? Yes. Okay. Can I have your jacket? Yep. You your jacket. Thank you. I'm just going to check the park. It's okay. Make sure there's nothing there. Right? You're not good. <sighs> Sorry. It's okay. Hopefully that helps a little bit. All right. Good. Whenever you're ready, you may begin the test. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes you turn. Is that ten? Yep. Or that was ten. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. All right, you can stop. My heels. Hurt. That's okay. Okay. Right. I just realized I never done this in heels. Okay. Um. All right. That's okay. We'll move on to the next test. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to the next test. All right. Okay. So just but stand with your feet together and hands to your side. Sorry, it's like it's like. It's okay. Like, oh, listen, listen, listen. Stop right here, okay? We're gonna move on to the next test. I'm gonna explain it for you, okay? Yeah. For this test, before I explain anything, I want you to keep your feet together, your hands to your side. If you take them out of your pockets for me, I know it's cold. Oh, yeah. Right now. All right? Just like this. Don't start the test until I tell you to start, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, for this test, whichever leg you feel more comfortable with, okay? Give me your right or your left. Okay. I want you to raise it six inches off the ground, like this, okay? I want you to count out loud, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 until I tell you to stop, okay? So, so while you're doing the test, I want you to look down at your raised foot, count out loud like I did, okay. keep your hands to your side, Six. okay? No, count out loud until I tell you to stop, okay? Good. Keep your hands down at your side, and if you put your foot down at any point, just pick it right back up and continue the test. Do you have any questions? Do you understand? Yeah, no, no, I get it. Okay, you may begin. All right. All right, ready? Sorry. Yep, you may begin, go ahead. Okay. The officer finding the whole situation odd decided to probe into the matter more. He proceeded to look further into Lauren to make sure there were no lingering effect of the accident. He also wanted to know if there were any other catalysts at play here. And that's it. You're not going to see all the night, you're not, but see you like that. Um, I can't access your car right now until the power company comes out, but when I do, is there anything from the private you would like? Um, well, yeah, I'll go. Do you have a person there you want? Oh, what? Do you have a person there that you would like? What would you like? No, in my car. I understand it, but he's in there like a purse. Oh, um. A wallet? Okay, Laura, you come this way, okay? We're not going to this car, we're going to the one over here, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have one under 450. Okay. If you could give a call. Do you have my phone? I do, it's in my pocket. I'll bring it with us, okay? We're going to get in the backseat on this side, so watch your step. 10 4. Okay. 
It's easier to go butt first. Can you? It's easier to go butt first. Slide in like that. Okay, careful. Here. Ow, sorry. Yeah, I'm no, so it's sorry. okay. I'm just making sure you're okay, all right? No, no. I'm going to put the seatbelt on you, all right? Do you have my phone? I did. I'm going to keep it up front, okay? Are you going to be up there? I'm, I'm driving the car, all right? Okay. Can I talk to you while you drive the car? Of course. Okay. All right? Yeah. Okay. No, I don't. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, let me double check. I think I'm, I think I should. I just oh, he's gonna run the box. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, yeah, of course. I should have one. <laughs> they must be fed up with us. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, you got one? Yeah, right, he's my last one. Ah. Yep. Grabbing a packet from Jimmy. <laughs> I got him, just not, uh, not the most organized work. It's alright. There we go. Alright, thank you, sir. We don't have Yes, sir. Keep the radio on. Yep. You got it. I just don't, I don't bring it into Lincoln Park. Just running one female Lincoln Park headquarters. Starting five two nine four nine. Appreciate. Six four nine. I'm going to be heading over there as well. Ten four. Six two nine is clear and available. Fifty one's gonna remain on scene waiting on JC Ten four. All right. We're going to Lincoln Park headquarters because our breathalyzer machine is. The officer, based upon his finding, opted to do the right thing. Lauren was taken somewhere where she could be properly processed. Later, a responsible adult took custody of her. She was charged with operating under the influence, reckless driving, traffic on marked lanes, and use of handheld wireless telephones. According to court records on March 13th, 2023, Lauren pleaded guilty to operating under the influence and received a fine of $890. Her license was revoked for four months. For more interesting stories about criminals, subscribe to the channel.